Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I take you on a tour of my newly remodeled bathroom. So this is the bathroom that is upstairs in our home. It's the one that my children have always used to get ready in the morning and get ready for bed at night. So our home is about 20 years old and this room was in desperate need of a makeover. I am going to insert some pictures here so you can take a look at what it looked like before we did our remodel. I knew that I had wanted to decorate this bathroom in the farmhouse style. I like it very much because it really does lean towards neutrals, which is something that I like to decorate with anyway. I knew I was going to have to replace or paint my existing cabinets. The cabinets were original with the house and I thought it might be time to upgrade. So we had ordered this beautiful white cabinet from Home Depot and my husband was able to install it all on his own without too much trouble. We had also ordered our countertops from Home Depot. This is a Corian, and I will insert a picture of the one that we chose. I thought it went really well with our floor and with our white cabinet. So the one thing that made the biggest difference in this bathroom is this tile floor. We had linoleum before, which was great when the kids were young, but we were really in the mood for something a little bit more updated and a little more upscale. So my husband and I went to Lowe's and we picked out the ceramic square tiles and these glass tiles. The glass tiles came on one of those larger 12 by 12 sheets and my husband cut them all apart and created this design for me. Here's an up close picture of the glass and the ceramic tile that we chose. And I think he did a great job. I think this floor makes the whole room. So sticking with that farmhouse theme, I knew that I had wanted a burlap shower curtain. I thought I was going to end up having to make one on my own, but then I found this beautiful trim lined burlap shower curtain at Ballard Designs, which you can order online. They send a catalog out periodically. So for now, I have the shower curtain swept over to one side and I wanted to create a vintage looking tie back. So I use some fancy string for the tie back. I have a burlap flower with a little bit of rhinestones in the middle that I found at Joann's, this wooden tag and this key. And this little tassel here, I found at Tuesday morning. Over here above the commode, I have my flush sign from Sawdust City. I have had this sign for years. I always had it in this room. I have three boys and trust me, they needed to be reminded on the daily to flush. So I thought this was really cute and it fit right in with my farmhouse theme. So above that on the wall, I have a really pretty burlap bulletin board. I found this at Hobby Lobby. It has a really nice ivory frame and I wanted to do something floral without doing a wreath because I'll show you I have a wreath on the other wall and I had just collected a bunch of flowers. I think I got these at Joann's and I just kind of put it together with some greens and I have um, a little burlap bow that I made and also one of those flowers with the rhinestone middle that I found at Joann's. And if you've noticed, there's a little cute little burlap bird that is peeking out there. I have kept it really, really clean here on the countertop around the sink. I just have a little faux orchid that I had gotten at the home goods store. And I also have two bottles of the Garrison and Home Lavender Hand Soap. So trying to keep in my farmhouse theme, on this wall here that is opposite of the bathtub, I have a very simple old frame that I've had forever that I just chalk painted a nice ivory color. And on the inside, I hung a burlap wreath that I had made from just some scraps of burlap that I had around the house. And you can see that I carried over that um, little flower with the rhinestone middle that I found at Joann's that I've used throughout this room. The color paint that we chose to paint our bathroom may be familiar to you. This is the same color that I painted our laundry room. It is by Valspar. We got it at Home Depot and the name of the color is Ivory Brown. 
So thank you so much for spending some time with me here today in my remodeled bathroom. I'm going to leave as many links as I can in the information bar below if you wanted to take a look at some of the products. So I hope you'll leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye.